Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh, and on this video, we'll look at uh, how to use binarizer to discretize a data set. And we'll look at two specific commands binarizer and binarize. So let's get into Jupyter Notebook and see how we can implement this. Here I've imported two libraries, NumPy and uh, preprocessing from sklearn. And this is the version of software I'm using. Now for the data, we have just this one array X and for binary. So just to uh, give an intuition of what binary means, binary means just a value of either zero or one. And so we are going to convert all the values in an array to either zero or one, depending on a threshold value that we can set. So let's start out with setting up the default threshold. So threshold, uh, let's start out with the threshold of zero points uh, and see how that works. So binarizer, so we'll initialize a variable B. So preprocessing dot binarizer. And here we can specify threshold is equal to 0, 0.0 and once we have this we can type dot fit in front of this or we can write b dot fit x and then write uh, b dot transform uh, transform x and so we have this output so the way this works is it's very simple one is less than or uh, is it less than or equal to zero uh, it is greater than so therefore we have one now minus one is less than zero so we have a zero here four is greater than zero so we have one here zero is equal to zero so we have zero so all the values in the input array if they are less than or equal to the threshold value then they are space in the transformed array they will be a zero all other values would be one now uh, let's go ahead and uh, look at another threshold so threshold of how about 0 0.5 let's try 0 0.5 and see what we get i'll go ahead and copy this so let's do that and here instead of doing this separately i'm going to use fit transform uh, in the same uh, line and here we change it to 0 0.5 and now what we have if we pull our array x here so we have one that is uh, all uh, one is less than one is greater than 0 0.5 so we have one minus one is less so we have uh, zero four is greater than 0 0.5 so we have one and so on and so forth uh, how about we use a value that exists in here so there is a value of 3 so if you put a value of 3 here instead of 0. 0.5 and now if you run this now we can see that all the values that are less than or equal to 3 have become 0 so all of these 3 is equal, has become 0 because it's equal to 3 and only the values greater than 3 which is 4 those stay as 1 so there are only two fours in here plus four so we have one and two those remain as one uh, rest of the array becomes zero so uh, that's how binarizer works or uh, we can also use binarize which is another version of this uh, so for using binarize so binarize so here we need not use the fit and transform we can simply say pre-processing dot binarize and then specify the input array x and then specify threshold is equal to 3 in this case now when we run this we get the same output as what we had before uh, the only difference is that this is just one line of code without using fit transform method so that was how we can use binarize uh, to convert to one hot encode or discretize an input array it's similar to using the k bins discretizer with a, a, 
uh, number of bins two bins so it's zero or one bin as it works as long as the edges of the bin are uh, close to the or equal to the threshold value that is specified in the binarizer i hope in this video and the last two videos you learn how the discretization process works in pre-processing in scikit-learn and i'm hope i'm hoping you'll be able to use it in your projects to uh, one hot encode the data or count vectorizer data before feeding that into a machine learning model we will continue our journey in scikit-learn in coming videos until then please like share and subscribe i hope to see you all in the next video thank you